Patients with hypertension can often successfully control their blood pressure by combining a healthy lifestyle with effective medication. However, approximately 10% of patients have difficult to control hypertension or resistant hypertension. In this group of affected individuals, the usual blood pressure-lowering drugs are not enough. Their blood pressure remains high despite receiving at least three antihypertensive medications of different pharmacological classes, including a diuretic, at optimal doses. People with resistant hypertension have a greater risk of heart attack, stroke, and end-stage renal disease. Existing research suggests that resistant hypertension may arise because current treatment options fail to address relevant pathophysiologic mechanisms adequately. This includes the endothelin pathway, which plays an important role in the development of the condition. Endothelin 1, or AT1, is a powerful vasoconstrictor, meaning it narrows blood vessels, contributing to high blood pressure. It also induces neurohormonal activation, vascular hypertrophy and remodeling, cardiac hypertrophy and fibrosis, and endothelial dysfunction. In hypertension, both ETA and ETB receptors mediate the harmful effects of ET1. Aprocitentin is a promising new drug currently being reviewed by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use in resistant hypertension. It belongs to a class of drugs, called endothelin receptor antagonists. Aprocitentin specifically blocks and prevents ET1 from binding to ETA and ETB receptor. This causes blood vessels to relax and reduces blood pressure. Endothelin receptor antagonism offers a different mechanism of action compared to traditional medications, potentially providing a new option for patients who have not had success with other treatments. Aprocitentin is still under investigation and not yet approved for any medical condition, including hypertension. It has been tested in Phase 3 clinical trial. For weeks after treatment initiation, aprocitentin significantly lowers blood pressure when added to standardized antihypertensive therapy in patients with resistant hypertension. While the study found aprocitentin reduced blood pressure more than placebo, it also showed 18% of people on the high dose had mild to moderate fluid retention, mainly during the first four weeks of treatment. These events were managed with the addition or uptitration of diuretic therapy. Although being relatively controllable with diuretics, this may pose potentially serious risks in patients with heart failure and or chronic kidney disease. In a recent update, data from a subgroup analysis of the precision trial indicated that aprocitentin is effective and safe for people experiencing resistant hypertension with stage 3 or 4 chronic kidney disease. This particular group of patients is significant because chronic kidney disease is the most common comorbidity in those with resistant hypertension. Overall, aprocitentin represents a promising new approach for managing resistant hypertension. The upside of aprocitentin compared with current drug options is that it has not appeared to cause any increase in blood potassium levels, which is an issue with the current top agent for resistant hypertension, spironolactone. While further research is necessary, aprocitentin offers hope for improved blood pressure control in this challenging patient population. And that's it for today's pharmacology video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more pharmacology content.